cracking down on so-called backy buses. Amongst all the innocent travellers, a passenger is offered a free trip away by bootleggers, as long as they agree to carry back the guideline allowance of tobacco, which the organisers then collect and sell on the black market. And did either of you purchase or obtain anything while you were away? I just got 100 cities. 100? Yeah, for yeah. myself. Yeah, and what and about And I got you? some tobacco. Yeah, how much have you got? Um, 20. 20 what? 20 packs to 10. Right, OK. Can I ask you just to pop with them? Yeah. That officer just to have a quick look at your bag. This passenger has 10 kilos of tobacco worth nearly £2,000. Now it's up to the officers to find out if it's for her own use. If not, it will be seized. In Bristol, dozens of flights a day arrive from outside the EU. Officers target these flights to make sure no one brings in more than their allowance of 200 cigarettes to sell on the UK's black market. Usually bags are x-rayed to catch the bootleggers in the act, but today a passenger hurrying through the customs channel alerts Jane, who pulls him in for a chat in the search bay. Have you got any cigarettes? No. None at all? No? Can you just get that one up on the bench and I'll just have a quick look in it, please? Well, I won't walk away yeah, now. Just take it. You have got yes, cigarettes. Yes. What? Can you just get that up there? The initial lie didn't work, and it's closely followed by another. It's only that one I've got. Right, okay. But Jane's having none of it. Can you get the other case just up on that bench and open it up for me? Both bags are full of Turkish cigarettes, and the passenger is full of lies. Have you got any in your hand luggage? Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right. Take care of it. Yeah. Well, you are, yeah. We're not under arrest, so... No. No, what? Can walk away. Well, we'll do you some paperwork. You are obviously over the allowance, so I they are, are going to be obviously seen. it's not against the law to do it. Well, what I'm going to do is do you some paperwork. The goods will be seized and destroyed. And if he's had goods seized before, he may face a fine or a prison sentence. In Portsmouth, Nikki's now questioning the ferry passenger carrying 10 kilos of tobacco to work out if she may be carrying it for someone else. How many times have you been on previously? Um, I was here last month. Last month? Uh, no, sorry, September. OK. The second. Right. And how many times have you travelled on the Bilbao this year? Uh, about three. About three times? Yeah. OK. Have you been stopped by customs before? No. No. A few simple checks tells Nikki that this passenger is also telling lies. She so normally brings in three kilos and a full quantity of cigarettes as well. Then I've done that, that was back then. Just see if she's been jobbed before. That's so as well. She's a well-stopped customer. <laughs> Lying to a customs officer isn't a good idea, especially if you want to keep your tobacco. But Nikki suspects she's carrying it as part of an organised backy bus. Some of these are for you, some of your family? Yeah. OK. And how much money have they given you towards their contribution towards the goods? They, they haven't really given me anything because I'll give them gifts, you know, for Christmas. Right, OK, so you don't expect to get receive any payment of any no. sort for these goods? No. How much should they cost you? Um, £340. £340 for all of it? Yeah. yeah. Right, OK. okay. It turns out the woman's travelling on a coach known to customs as one of their regular backy buses. The passenger is offered an interview, but she decides to give up. Yeah. OK, you're not under arrest. I'll leave the stuff. Have you got the passport? Because there's other yeah. people waiting to go home, you know what I mean? OK, so you don't want... Do you want me to detain the goods or do you just want to abandon them? Just abandon them. Just, just abandon them. Passport, yeah. OK, so you don't want to stay for interview and you do not want me to detain your goods? I need to goods. get home. My father needs me. There's people waiting on the coach. OK, so you just want to leave your goods and walk away? Yeah, yeah. OK. Knowing that organisers of backy buses tell their carriers to abandon their goods in case they give too much away in interview convinces Nikki she's done the right thing, but the woman insists she's done nothing wrong. It's over. We're not doing no drugs or nothing. You know what I mean? You should be looking after worse crim. You know, I'm not a criminal, but. You should be looking more to criminals, shouldn't they? Thank There's you. There's your passports back. She has been stopped by customs before, even though she claims that she hadn't. Um, I was not happy in my own mind to let her proceed with the goods unless I knew they were for her own personal use. And on this occasion, I don't believe they were. Back in Bristol, Jane's waiting for the results of background checks on the man caught with 11,000 Turkish cigarettes. Have you ever been stopped by customs before? Never? No, I've never been stopped. 
So if I check the records now, I'm yeah. not... No. The checks reveal this to be yet another lie. Just a record to see if he's um, had anything seized from him before, or if she's had anything seized from him before. I don't think he has, but he's been stopped before, and he's been issued with a notice one. He said to me initially, I said, have you got cigarettes? He went, no. I said, well, I'm going to look in your bags. And he said, oh, they're full. Oh, right. And he said that he knows. OK. So I'll just uh, get rid of him, I think. The man has been stopped before, but it's his first seizure, so escapes a fine. Although he's lost the cigarettes, which will be added to the billions taken off the black market by customs each year. You could tell that this was for resale because of all the different, different brands. Different brands, yeah. yeah. And there was no luggage. Yeah and they were both trying to race through without getting eye contact with anyone. And that was why I went after him, because I think he was trying to get out quite quickly. Meanwhile, the woman in Gatwick South Terminal won't be leaving just